Hello, today I'm going to show you relationship between fixed duration tasks and resource calendar in Microsoft Project for the web. First of all, I'm going to use Power Apps, okay? And I'm going to choose the project. And under project, I'm going to use resources. So let's say that Ellen has some time, some time off. I will choose Ellen, okay? And I will go to her work hours, and I will say that in April, since 10th to 14th, she is not available. How can I do that? I should be here in Allen. I'm going to say new, time off. And I will say, okay, whole day from April 10th till April 14th, and I will say holiday or vacation, and I will say save. Okay, you will see Ellen is on vacation. Now I am going to create a new project, and by default this new project is going to be fixed duration type. I will call this project fixed duration project and I will say that the start date is going to be in April, let's say 3rd, okay? I will choose creation time zone, okay? And I will use resource calendar, okay? I will use resource calendar. So, because if I use resource calendar and this is exact, this one, okay, you will see my result. And here, project, okay. Now, I will put here some start, I will see, put here finish, and I will put here effort, okay. Now, I will say I have a task, which is 10 days duration. See, it starts on third at the very beginning of the project and finished on 14th. Let's go here in calendar and you will see it start on third, which is Monday, five days and five days here, in total 10 days, and it will be finished on 14th. Now I will going to assign Alan, okay? And I will dot, I don't want to use a group, I will say just assign, and I will get warned that I can create a group, etc., etc. Got it? Okay. But on the wrong task, of course. Here. Okay. You will see that the start date, let me delete this task, the start date and end date are not changed. But the effort is 40 hours. Why? Let's go here and let's go to assignment. And let's use group by task. You will see from 3rd of April to 7th of April, Ellen is working eight hours per day. But since she's on her vacation from 10th to 14th and 15th and 16th on uh, uh, Saturday, Sunday, she will not work. So, when you have fixed duration task, and this is fixed duration task means because you cannot choose if the task will be fixed duration or fixed units, no, task by task, you can use it on the project level, and default for this project is fixed duration, and when you apply a project calendar and for specific resource, like I did for, my, for the Ellen, and once again, it is fixed duration. It means that when you put some resource which should work on these specific dates in fixed duration, which means duration cannot be changed, what will happen if someone, like in my example, Ellen, has vacation 
the total effort will be de decreased. So maybe you expect 80 hours, but you will not have it because this is fixed duration task. Now let me show you one tip. I'm going to use this fixed duration project, I'm going here, and I will say I do not care about resource calendars. So I will uncheck this, okay? So basically, those vacations should not be followed because I said here I don't want to use resource calendar. If I close this, nothing will get changed, okay? And I will get the same result, okay? Here and next week you will see nothing. But if I go to grid and I deselect Ellen, okay, and now select Ellen again, you will see I will get eight, 80 hours. So if I go back to assignment, you will see that Ellen is going to work first week and second week. Why? Because I choose not to use resource calendar. What will happen if I now change my mind for the second time and I say, but I, I want this resource calendar. You will see duration is now 15 days, but what if I want to, to change it on 10 days? You will see that I will have 40 hours. So once again, I had this as my, in my first example. Ellen, 10 days, project has, uh, 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 resource, use, uh, is using resource calendar. I don't want resource calendar, nothing happens. I deassign Ellen, okay? Here, I put her back. I have 80 hours, okay? Now, I change my mind, I say, I want resource calendar. The duration will be 15 days. Be aware of that. Why? Because I used my resource calendar. So I should go back and change this duration to 10 days. Okay? It is a little bit complicated. It is a little bit confused. But who cares? It is how it is. Let me go here now I ha and uh, show you the last example. I am using my resource calendar. Okay. What if I go here and I say, oh, Ellen is not going to be on vacation and I will delete it. Okay. Now, Ellen is supposed to work. What will happen here? I use resource calendar. As you can see, nothing. What if I deassign Ellen and assign Ellen once again? You will see 80 hours is here. So when you change something in resource calendar for a specific resource, or you select or deselect resource calendar, be aware that duration can be changed or effort can be changed, or, or duration can be changed, and effort can be changed, but to make, when you change resource calendar, be aware that you should, first of all, reassign this particular resource, and then reassign it again. Hope this helps. Thank you very much.